Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you the capabilities of the GoPro Hero 6 as a vlogging camera. Kind of like Big Hero 6 but for GoPros. So we're going to go around Disneyland, check all the functionalities out, and see how it works all this time on. Can this tiny camera be all you need to start your vlog channel? Or all you need to start capturing your memories in high quality 4K videos? Today I want to see if this is the whole package, because on paper it sounds like it is. It's waterproof up to 33 feet, and right now you can get them on eBay for around $110. Yes, that's because these were first released in 2017, but how do they hold up in 2023? Today I'm at Disneyland and I'm going to be trying out the GoPro Hero 6. I just got it for like 7 bucks at a garage sale, so I'm going to test out how it is vlogging. Yes, you heard that right. I got it really cheap. I actually thought it was broken at first because there was some salt from the ocean stuck in one of the battery compartments. Once I cleaned that off though, I got the camera running and it is working perfectly fine. I think GoPros are just super durable in general. I got one first when I was in high school at retail price. It was super expensive. It was definitely a splurge, but I took it with me on all our family vacations, anywhere there was water involved and I loved it. So to have a newer GoPro now, the one I bought initially was a Hero 3 Plus. It feels super new, even though I think they're on GoPro 11 right now, GoPro Hero 6 is super high quality. And I'm very surprised at just how smooth these shots are. So they do have a stabilization mechanism in here and you could totally tell this is more smooth than my iPhone even shoots video. So this was very cool to see. The first stop of the day is the iconic Plaza Inn for the mashed potato and fried chicken plate. I'm also doing a Digicam review of Digicam at Disneyland, so please subscribe if you want to see that. That's coming out soon, but I had to get some action shots of this delicious food here. This GoPro is probably not going to be used for the intended purposes of like skiing, jumping off of cliffs, diving. Um, this is probably the most action I'll be doing is competitive eating. This is probably our favorite meal to get here is the chicken plate and it's about 19.50 now. It used to be like 18 or 16, now it's 19.50 but it's a pretty good deal. It's like three pieces of chicken, some mashed potatoes, green beans, and a biscuit. It's pretty good. And so it's loud in here right now so I'm not sure how the audio is doing. Yeah, the microphone kind of cuts that out or not so we'll see. I would say the audio is decent, but I feel like it captures more background noise than the iPhone camera does, especially on selfie mode. But my skin looked really good in that shot. The lighting adjustments are really good on the GoPro, just automatically. One drawdown I did notice is trying to get close-up shots. They come out kind of blurry like you saw in that chocolate medallion on the tart. Now we're going to be trying the 100th anniversary lemon tart. I'm really excited. We got a nice change in scenery here. The audio is probably a little different outside. It's, it's really loud inside. Yeah. But we'll see how the microphone holds up. We're at an even lower amount of battery. Uh, 87% and we, I've only filmed about like five minutes of content probably. So we'll see if it lasts throughout the day. I'm a big lemon tart fan and this one's really good. It comes with this little edible pearls and lemon. Um, cream on top and I like the cream a lot. It's not super tart, which I do like in a lemon tart if it's super, super, super sour, but it's still really good. And it's actually really, really large for the price. It's $8, which is a lot, but you could definitely split this with four people and it's more than enough. <laughs> no, my mom is like, no, you can't. How, about, how many people? Three? Two. Two, I guess. It's pretty big though, if you just want to go a little bit. Now I'm shooting in 4 to show you guys what that the difference looks like. Maybe it's not much of a difference, but it definitely feels a little different. So one thing about the GoPro that might knock it down a rank as a vlogging camera is that the audio quality is not the best. Keep in mind, I am testing this out in one of the noisiest places on earth, but maybe that is why it's a good place to test it because if it can't withstand the noise here, maybe it's not great everywhere else in your non-ideal conditions. And another thing I kind of miss was zooming in and out while I was filming. I love zooming in and out on my phone while I'm filming for emphasis and I just find it fun. But here, you're not able to do that. You're only able to zoom uh, while you're setting the camera up, but you can't change and zoom in and out while you're actually recording. That said, I absolutely love how crisp these images are. 
I do feel like they're a lot higher quality than my phone and I don't need to worry about my phone space filling up so quickly, which has been really, really nice. One nice thing about the GoPro is that if you are going to be using it for more action-based activities, I like that they have the super wide function. That will be really good, say you're skiing, snowboarding, or surfing, to really capture everything. Here in a parade setting, it's probably the worst setting to use because remember you can't zoom in or out, so everything seems super far away. But I can definitely see this being a useful vlogging tool. I know the iPhone has that 0.5 setting where things get really wide, but I do feel like that decreases the quality. And with the GoPro, it just feels natural. The quality still seems super high. There's none of that grain that you get with the iPhone. Went and checked out the brand new Toontown. It looks very cute. The colors are so amazing, but there were so many kids here and um, it was just packed. <laughs> so we decided to go to California Adventure and get some bread, which is honestly one of my favorite parts of any Disney trip. Super busy today, so hopefully they still have baguettes left. We'll see. I love buying baguettes at Pacific Wharf and then taking them home to eat. It's so good. I also love checking the pin boards to see if there's any pins, and I traded for this little hat box ghost. I think I was doing a zoom effect. <laughs> so far, it's been super fun to use the GoPro. It's really small, it's really lightweight, so I barely even feel it in my pocket, which is a plus. It loads pretty quickly as well. We'll see how the audio is, but so far the pictures look really clear on the camera. And I haven't had any issues. It's really convenient, actually. I believe the GoPro does make you a little bit more intentional about shooting videos since it is in the camera form rather than the phone form. Um, and it does take a couple seconds to load up and get started. So it does make me want to question, okay, do I want to turn the camera on? Do I want to start filming? Is this something that, you know, is aesthetically pleasing or something I'd like to include in a vlog? Um, issue with my phone, I have so many videos that it's become something I can even like wrangle in at this point. So it is nice on the GoPro to have like something separate from my phone, a separate storage, and something that makes me think a little bit more before I start to shoot a video. Now let's test the GoPro without light and or the GoPro at night. <laughs> so this is the GoPro inside of Star Tours. I think it holds up pretty well in the low light, but you can't adjust anything like you can on the iPhone, which can make it a little bit harder. But as you can see there, it automatically adjusted. excuse my hairstyle but yes we do like to get Korean food every once in a while at different restaurants around Anaheim because they are cheaper than the ones in Los Angeles and honestly they got they have much bigger and better portions as well and this was just totally amazing Sunggoku so I had a wonderful night and wow it captures really nice crisp videos like this looks like an anime right here this bubbling soup and I want to show you guys the pins that I traded for that day in the parks. You saw one of them, but I'll show you the rest. Overall, I'm really impressed with the GoPro Hero 6's quality, especially since I'm upgrading from a GoPro Hero 3 Plus. I do think it would make an awesome vlogging camera, especially if you're just starting out, and if you don't have a phone that already shoots in 4K or 1080p. I think this is a great option for around $120 on eBay. You can get a pretty solid vlogging camera, one drawdown is the audio, um, but I think that could be fixed with an external microphone. Or if you're doing action videos that don't require much audio, it could be fine as well. But please let me know in the comments, do you like using older cameras for vlogging? I definitely do. It kind of lowers the stakes of like having to carry an expensive camera around. And it's something that I like to do because it's affordable. I haven't spent a whole lot of money on cameras yet, especially since I'm just starting out I'm getting very serious about my YouTube channel. So I think it's always good to start a little bit on the modest side. 
So what do you think about the GoPro Hero 6? Have you used it before? What kind of GoPro or camera do you have for your vlogging setup? Please let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this review and subscribe. Stay sweet everyone. I'll see you next time.